Good morning and welcome to the Daily Office and thank you for joining me. This is morning prayer for Tuesday, July the 8th. It's the fourth week after Pentecost and week one in the Psalm cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalms 5 and 6. And Matthew chapter 23, verse 13 to 26. And please join with me in singing verse 7 of Psalm 66 by Isaac Watts. And we'll sing it to the tune of Amazing Grace. God, you have proved our suffering souls to make our graces shine. So silver bears the burning coals, the metal to My mouth shall declare your praise. Alleluia, give ear to my words, O God, and consider my meditation. Alleluia. Psalms 5 and 6. Please join me in reciting. Alleluia, give ear to my words, O God, and consider my meditation. Listen to the voice of my cry, my ruler and my God for I pray to you. Hear my voice in the morning. I look up and offer you my prayer, for you do not take pleasure in wickedness, and neither shall evil dwell with you. The foolish shall not stand in your sight. You hate all workers of evil. You shall destroy them that speak lies, and you abhor the bloodthirsty and the deceitful. But as for me, I will come into your house in the greatness of your mercy, and in your fear I will worship toward your holy temple. Lead me, O God, in your righteousness because of my enemies. Make your way straight before me. For there is no truth in their mouths. Their hearts are absolute wickedness. Their throats are open graves. They flatter with their tongues. Destroy them, O God, let them fall by their own counsels. Cast them out for their many transgressions, for they have rebelled against you. But let all that put their trust in you rejoice. Let them ever shout for joy, because you defend them. Let them that love your name be joyful in you. For you bless the righteous, and you surround them with favor like a shield. Alleluia, O God, do not rebuke me in your anger, neither chasten me in your hot displeasure. Have mercy upon me, for I am weak. Heal me, for my bones are vexed. My soul is racked with pain, and you, O God, how long? Return and rescue me. Save me for your love's sake. For in death there is no remembrance of you, in the grave, who shall give you thanks? I am weary with my groaning. All the night long I drench my pillow with tears, and I soak my bed with weeping. My eye is consumed because of grief. I grow old because of all my enemies. Depart from me, all you evildoers, for the Most High has heard my weeping. The Most High has heard my plea, and God will accept my prayers. Let all my enemies be ashamed and confounded. Let them retreat in sudden shame. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word, and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, give ear to my words, O God, and consider my meditation. Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 23, beginning at verse 13. But woe to you, O scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For you lock people out of the kingdom of heaven. You, For you do not go in yourselves, and when others are going in, you stop them. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! 
For you cross sea and land to make a single convert, and you make the new convert twice as much a child of hell as yourselves. <clears throat> Woe to you, blind guides, who say, whoever swears by the sanctuary is bound by nothing, but whoever swears by the gold of the sanctuary is bound by the oath. You blind fools, for which is greater, the gold or the sanctuary that has made the gold sacred? And you say, whoever swears by the altar is bound by nothing. But whoever swears by the gift that is on the altar is bound by the oath. How blind you are, for which is greater, the gift or the altar that makes the gift sacred? So whoever swears by the altar swears by it and by everything on it. And whoever swears by the sanctuary swears by it and by the one who dwells in the sanctuary. And whoever swears by heaven swears by the throne of God and by the one who is seated upon the throne. Woe to you, O scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you tithe mint and dill and cumin and have neglected the weightier matters of the law, justice, mercy, and faith. It is these you ought to have practiced without neglecting the others. You blind guides, you strain out a gnat, but you swallow a camel. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you clean the outside of the cup and of the plate, but inside they are full of greed and self-indulgence. You blind Pharisee, first clean the inside of the cup so that the outside may also become clean. Here ends the lesson. And now let us pray for the church and the world. And please respond to each petition with, hear our prayer. For the mission of the church, that it may extend the peace and the love of Christ to all people. O oh God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For Tom and Alan and Ray and Richard and Don, and for all of our church leaders, for all clergy and ministers, that they may be ever faithful servants of your word and sacraments. O oh God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For unity in the church, that our scandalous divisions may be healed. O oh God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For the mercy of God community and for the sisters of St. Francis of Philadelphia, O oh God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For the poor and the hungry and the thirsty, for the destitute and the unemployed, that we may share with them the riches of creation and free the world of poverty and famine. O oh God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For Barack and Joe and John, and for all the leaders of this nation, city, and state, and for the leaders of the nations of the world, that they may bring justice and peace in all the earth. O oh God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. That God, who's begun this ministry, may bring it to fulfillment. O oh God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Rejoicing in the fellowship of Francis and Claire and all your saints, let us commend one another and all of our lives to Christ our God. O oh God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For the intentions of those who've asked our prayers, and for all of your intentions. O oh God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let us sing together. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Count us not among the fools, O God. May we fear your name and be joyful in your love and worship in your house. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And glory to God whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. <laughs>